Y'all troubling me. In the book of Haggai, Haggai, the 37th book in the Bible. Amen. The book of Haggai. That's just a little book. Got about two chapters. You can find it. It's the 37th book in the Bible. Right between Zephaniah and uh, Zechariah. Look, just go to the third book from the back in the Old Testament. Go to the Old Testament. Go all the way to the New Testament. Back up three books. You can get that. Amen. Book of Haggai. We don't use this book much, but I think we need to talk about him today. Just a little minor prophet. He didn't preach but three sermons, and we're going to deal with him today. Oh, amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. Right. amen. Yeah. 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 And Mark, because if the Lord brings us back, we're coming right back in there when we get back there. Uh -oh. And look at him, y'all. The first chapter. You got that? The third book from the back in the Old Testament. Amen. Verse number one uh -huh. says, uh, mm -mm. In the second year of Darius the king, uh -huh. in uh, the sixth month and the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord by Hagar the prophet unto Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtah governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, This our people, the time is not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. Then came the word of the Lord by Hagar, my Lord. The priest said, the time is not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Mm -hmm. Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, saying, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses, mm -hmm. and this house now waits? <laughs> now therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. We like to talk about God's ways, but he says, consider your ways. Ye have sown much. You planted a lot and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but that is none warm. He that earned wages, earned wages, to put it into a bag with holes. Thus said the Lord of hosts again, consider your ways. Go up to the mountains and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it. Go up and bring wood and build a house and I will take pleasure in it. And I will be glorified, said the Lord. Ye looked for much, mm -hmm. and lo, it came to little. Mm -hmm. And when you brought it home, I, listen, you better get this. This is what the Lord said. I did blow upon it. Oh Why, said the Lord of hosts, did I blow upon it? Because of mine house that is waste. Right. And you run every man unto his own house. Therefore, the heaven over you is stayed from dew. And the earth is stained from her fruit. And I called for a drought upon the land and upon the mountains and upon the corn and upon the new wine and upon the oil and upon that which the ground bringeth forth and upon men and upon cattle and upon all the labor of the hands. Then Zerubbabel the son of Shealtai and Joshua the son of Josedek and the high priest with all the remnant of the people obeyed the voice of the Lord their God. And the words of Haggai the prophet as the Lord their God has sent him and the people did fear before the Lord. Then spake Haggai the Lord's messenger in the Lord's message unto the people saying I am with you said the Lord. 
And the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtai, the governor of Judah, and the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of the people, and they came and did work in the house of the Lord their God. Praise the Lord. Let's want to talk today from a simple subject. First things first. First things first. Almost. It, um, it, it sounds kind of uh, mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, crazy at once. Mm -hmm. But certainly a term that we are all familiar with. Right, right. That in actuality it simply means we need to prioritize. Right, right. First things first. Yeah. And sometimes you have a day planned out. Mm -hmm. And when you meet with those who you have planned, uh -huh. and they began to go over the plan right. and say, well, are we going to go to the library first or should we go to the mall? Right. And you'll say, I'm hungry. All right. First things first. Right. Yeah. That, that, that means whatever else we're going to do, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to get me something to eat. Yeah. In order for everything else to go right. Y'all ain't saying that. And first things first simply mean that you don't have to prioritize and whatever goes first has to be first. And you're going to put together a bookshelf. Y'all ain't saying that. Inside of the package, you'll find some new pieces of paper. <laughs> Sometimes they have them in different languages. And I don't know why I can't make sense out of the English version. Amen. But they'll have all kinds of languages. And if you want it to be put together right, you just got to go first thing is first. First thing is take the paper and read the paper. Look at the illustrations. And I tell you something else. You you think you know how it go. Don't jump around and put the bottom in and say start with the top. That you have to do first things first. Yeah. I've done that before, and I put screws that lock. Y'all ain't saying that. And I locked them before I put something, <laughs> some critical part. Yeah. I just feel like the, the, the shaft would have lasted more than a year. Y'all ain't saying that. Right. Yes, I have first things first. Yeah. You understand? Right. Amen. Amen. I made cakes. And Recipe said cream some butter and sugar. Amen. Yeah. 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 Did not say mix the flour in. Yeah. Right. Amen. And I don't know why, but if you do it backwards, y'all ain't saying it. You're not going to have the same thing you had if you do it the way it says. And I like some of us are trying to live life. All right, all right. Y'all better get this. I'm going to leave it in right. Without prioritizing. Yeah. Now putting first things first. Yeah. And when we don't get positive results, yeah. we keep somebody in our pocket that we can blame. You know, we've already thought it out. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if this kid don't work, I already, I already know who I'm going to put it on. <laughs> You don't come to choir rehearsal and don't sing the song right. You always got musicians you can blame it on. Amen. Amen. You ain't got to take no blame. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the beat was off. That's how life is for us. The man holding us down. I'm not going to fool yourself. I ain't going to tell you the man ain't trying to hold you down. Uh -oh. All right, guys. All right. All right. But there's a lot of stuff that's trying to happen, but I know how to keep it from happening. Right. And when you prioritize in life, you don't have to worry about the man holding you down. Yeah. You're holding yourself down. Yeah. Oh, well, you don't take no resistance to hold you in the recline if you're not trying to get out the recline. Stay on Facebook instead of the 
Well, when I was a boy, my dad had When you was a boy and you said, you really remember when you was a boy, that still got you. Let me tell you something right now. Well, my life is right at this very moment. I take responsibility for all of the good and the bad. If I'm broke, I'm not broke because my daddy didn't do nothing for me. God ain't saying The fact that my daddy didn't do nothing for me, that just made me go do something for myself and do something for my I don't want to do nothing to my, I don't want to go too far from home. Home is wherever they send you. Amen. 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 I don't want no baloney for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these young folk got it too good. Amen. Amen. Nobody won't go nowhere. I left on my 18th birthday and they'll let me left on my 15th when I was left there. Amen. No. These days, consider your ways, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me give you some history. I don't want to bore you and rock you to sleep with them, but let me just make you understand, because some folk use these scriptures for what they want them to be for. This, this, you think I'm talking about getting in the house, and you think I'm talking about bringing your money. That ain't what this is about. Let me give you some history. Israel, the people, the chosen people of God. Yeah. I've told you many times we were carried away into captivity uh -huh. by many different nations. Uh -huh. Things were quite different than what they are now. And when yeah. people went to war, they went to war for the express purpose of putting people under their domain. Right. In other words, they would take whole nations and make them uh, captives. They would cause them to work and use them as slaves and that they would control other nations. Yeah. And God, who had the strongest nation, as long as they obeyed God, y'all ain't right, saying that. Right. Whenever Israel, the chosen people of God, would disobey God, God would allow them to be carried into captivity. Throughout the Old Testament scripture, there's time and time again, in captivity to the Egyptians, in captivity to Persia, in captivity to the Medes, in captivity to Babylon, and then sometimes they were in captivity, and those people would go and overtake those people, and they'd all be in captivity. Listen, I'm just trying to tell you in a short way. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not we got this. But see, where you had a lot of times, he said, consider your ways. Yeah. Has far more to do with you and what you did yeah. than God and what God can do. Yeah. We keep talking about God as a good God and talking about the power that God had. Let me tell you, it's all in his power, but some things are against his principle. Yeah. And God's principle says that if you be willing and obedient, you can eat the good of the land. So that would be going against God's principle to allow you to continually eat the good of the land if you're disobedient. Amen. He says, furthermore, that if you refuse and you rebel, uh -huh. you will be devoured by the soul. Uh -huh. Some of us are being devoured and don't even recognize. Uh -huh. But we're pointing fingers, we're blaming folk. Yes, yes. You understand that? So he says, consider your ways. Yes, Recognize that the spot you're in is not coincident. Yeah. It's not a matter of having bad luck. As my brother would say, buzz of luck. It has nothing to do with luck. In school, they taught us about a concept called cause and effect. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. If you stand in the rain uh, and get wet, it will cause you to get sick. Yeah. That's the effect. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you smoke cigarettes, mm -hmm. the fact that you be doing like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> On the side it says the second general. I used to think it's a dead man. Has determined <laughs> that smoking causes 
cancer. And you say, I ain't heard nobody but me. Mm -hmm. I ain't heard nobody but me. Right now, you just heard you. But when somebody got to sit by your bedside and listen to you, go here and here and here and can't do nothing for you. When you got to leave orphans behind, widows behind, don't tell me you ain't hurting nobody but you. Israel yeah. have been in captivity now. Mm -hmm. No, 70 years. Mm -hmm. And God had a way, whenever, you know, he could have just destroyed them. Mm -hmm. and, and he had been within his rights just to destroy Israel. They were just stubborn. He referred to them as stiff necked, hard headed, kind of like us. Hey. I know God. Yeah. Right. 
The temple was a place of worship. It wasn't just, see, worship is communicating with God, but it's two-way communication. In other words, I don't come just to yell at God and tell God what I think, but I come to hear what God has to say to me also. Amen. And that day, they didn't come to hear the choir sing, My Lord. to watch the musicians play, My God. Ah, to show off their wardrobe. Uh -huh. But the temple represented a place of Sincere worship. God had ordered the temple in Jerusalem. He had specifically told Israel how to build it. There was a lot of gold, a lot of silver. Because when the temple was built, Israel was on top, not on the bottom. You better get this. They were following God, and as a result, God gave them favor with other. So all the wood they needed for the temple, they were able to get. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. got that? All the gold they needed, mm -hmm. they were able to get. Yeah. Now, Babylon had come in mm -hmm. and destroyed the glorious temple of God. And they understood that the temple was not just a place to go and be entertained. Uh -huh. But it was a place to go and be blessed by God. Yes, yes. And there were those in captivity uh -huh. who didn't miss farming. All right. They didn't miss hanging out in the neighborhood. Uh -huh. But they missed going to the temple of God. Uh -huh. They missed hearing the voice of God. Some of y'all ought to be missing that right now. Yeah. They missed enjoying the blessings of God. Yeah. Some of you can think of when it was much better. Y'all yeah. understand? Yeah. Some of you can think of when it was simpler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They missed that. And when God softened the heart of the king, yeah. he said, whoever desire to go back home, mm -hmm. you all are free to go. Some of them had made out pretty good where they were. Right. Now, as a result of that, they didn't necessarily want to go back home. All right. But those who could remember the temple of his glory, they quickly marched to Jerusalem mm -hmm. and immediately began building the house of God. Problem though was when it was built the first time, they had resources. Yes, they were a wealthy nation. Yes. Everybody had something. Yes, sir. And it was easy to build. Uh -huh. But now the temple had been burned down, yeah. well. torn down, and left in ruin. Uh -huh. And you got to know that if that's where God dwelt, yeah. If that's where God met them at. Yeah. And that place was destroyed. Yeah. And I keep telling you now, when you, you take God out of church, church is over. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care how pretty it is. I don't care what kind of chandeliers you have. What kind of sound system you have. When you take God out of church, church is over. Think about it. When you take God out of your life, your life really is Some of us trying to live without God. God. That's why I wanted to tell you first things first. Yeah. So when they got down to Jerusalem, yeah. they started working on the temple. Uh -huh. But they got discouraged very quickly. Because right. the material was not coming in fast. Uh -huh. People didn't have a mind to work. Oh, I understand those sentiments. Mm. When folk put everything before God. And yet from their mouth they say God is first. Yeah. The head of my life. Mm. And, and, and yet God really is not first. Maybe on the list that you wrote out, you, you name him first. Yeah. You understand that. But, but the reality is God is Whatever is left. Yeah. Yes, sir. However much time. Everybody in the club calling me. Not 
the club, the nightclub, but the clubs I'm in, the organizations I'm in, my job, my family, my mother, my father, my children, people, my friends, everybody put it in touch. You don't even have time to pray to God. And then you have the audacity to say, don't nothing come before God. It's a good thought. You understand that. It's a noble thought. But as we go through life, everything takes precedence over God. They got busy building their own houses. And God wants you to have what's nice. God wants you to be comfortable. It's not his will that you be broke, busted, and disgusted. Right. He just wants you to put first things yes, first. Sir. Yes, sir. They started to build their own houses. And the people said, well, it ain't time yet All right. to rebuild God's house. Kind of like what I told you some folk that said, when I hit the lottery, <laughs> All right. I'm going to buy us a new church. Come on. Yeah. And if enough of the folk that's in the church didn't play and put their money in church, you'd have a new church. You know what I'm saying? And you wouldn't need the lottery because God will have kept his word concerning what he said he would do for you. Amen. They build their own houses. Nice ceiling and plush houses. And hey, God, the prophet came and said, The Lord said to you, You've declared it's not time to build your house or the Lord's house. But yet you are trying to build your house. He says, Now consider your ways. Think about reprioritizing. Yeah. Think about putting God first. Some of us, ooh, every relationship I get in just keep going bad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I challenge you to get in a relationship with God first. Yeah. Be faithful to God first. Yeah. And be faithful to yourself. Yeah. And I guarantee you, the next relationship you get into, that's going to be the one. But if you take the time that you ought to be giving to God, y'all yeah. understand that? The resources that you ought to be giving to God, and you give that to somebody other than God, why do you expect God to put you first? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Am I making any sense? Yeah. Yes, we want God to put us first on the top of the list. Yeah. When you start passing out blessings, Lord, have a blessing. Mm -hmm. No, whatever you do in this heat, I'm saying. Did you hear what I said? Amen. Oh, it's your season, all right, but you only can reap what you sow. Amen. What you sow. Amen. Then, then he said, I'm, I'm going to let y'all go because I see how y'all looking. <laughs> then, he said, if you did dwell in your sealed houses, sometimes not just even giving and doing, we treat God's house like it's just something out there. Under the table at your house. You don't call this the house of God and stick God in the pew. It's the house of God, and you don't just bring water bottle and drink bottle and candy and throw it on the floor. You don't do that at home. But that's what you're saying is God, you first, but my house is more important than your house. I know folk like that. Just cause my house junkin' when you came to it, that's my junk. I don't want your junk. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 Cause my car got junk in it, dust your feet off like you do in your car. That's my junk in there. Amen. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You understand? 
say, I got a junkin' house. I know I got a junkin' house. And I don't mind you junkin' and if your house junkin', but don't make your house clean and come help finish junkin' mine.
They did it too. And I was like one of my mama friends. I didn't even want time. I ain't studying your overtime. And when I went overtime, you better know somebody that made me do it. Because I can't do nothing with the regular. I ain't, oh, no, it ain't set up like that with my mind. No, no. You ain't even got to worry about me on the list for overtime. That you to make me do it. Because if the job ain't going to take care of me, I'm looking for another one. Because, listen, time you can't get back. You understand that? Yeah. Time is very expensive and you can't get it back. Uh -huh. And whatever you miss is gone. Uh -huh. Anything that you meant to do yesterday, you may still be able to do it, but you can't do it yesterday. All right. All right. <laughs> you understand that? Some of us got through two and three jobs. And got less than we have when we have a part-time job. Yeah, my God. The kids obeying God. Amen. The kids putting first things first. Yes, sir. But he says, look, he says, consider your ways though. Go up to the mountain and get some wood and be an ounce. Mm -hmm. And the key, he says, I will take pleasure in it. In other words, they were discouraged because they understood from the start they would not be able to build the temple like it was at first. Some of us, because we can, that, that's a trick they got us with. I don't need to be getting no job when if I get welfare and food stamps, by the time I go to work and catch the bus and pay somebody to keep knowing them, now I ain't got nothing no way. <laughs> They got you. Yes. That's right. My God. My Lord. Mm -hmm. They got you. My God. So that's our logic. So it ain't gonna make no difference anyway. Yeah. So y'all just like that. I ain't got my whole life here. And since I ain't got all of it anyway, I'm just gonna go over here. Next time you go over there, just turn around and see how many people look like coming out with their light bill money. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> no, just look at them. <laughs> My Lord. That's right. That's right. My Lord. Just see how many people coming out, look like they got their rent money. <laughs> right, any money. Get up to what these last two dollars. <laughs> and he's gonna do uh -huh. <laughs> But I'm not here. since I can't do it anyway, I'm just not gonna do nothing. Yeah. Since I can't be the CEO, I ain't going to go to work. All right. All right. Yeah. Everything has to stop somewhere. Yeah. 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 I don't care how big a tree is, if one time was just a seed. Yeah. 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 That tree over there, the roots, the tree right there, the roots probably out there on the corner. But it used to just be a seed. Yeah. He just says, consider your ways. It seems like it ain't nothing, but God has a plan and God has a way. And he said, when you go up to the mountain and get some wood and build a house, I take pleasure in it. And don't you know that if God take pleasure in something, there's always a positive reward. There's always a good response when God takes pleasure in something. But our job is we want man to take pleasure. Come on. Come on. Right. You understand that? Forget about what God wants. I know what Bobo wants. I'm going to get a hood house and I'm going to get me some stamps. Y'all better yeah. get this. All right. All right. All right. Uh -huh. And Bobo is going to eat tilapia on bad days. Yeah.
everybody go home. Anybody still? Amen. Amen. Forget about what God wants. I'm going to see how to keep my man. I'm going to see how to keep my woman. If you got a man or a woman who don't want somebody who put God first, you got a man or a woman who's not worth having. Amen. You ain't no competition between you and God.
He says, and, and, and so that you couldn't bring much from the ground. He didn't bless man nor cattle. And we keep wondering about the times that we're living in. And, and looking at how bleak the future is. At least when our parents were getting old. Uh -huh. They raised some children that had some sense. Yeah. Who would have the well with them and the decency. Y'all ain't saying that. Right. Right. To be able to take care of them when they couldn't take care of themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Now you got parents and children going out together. Oh, yeah. my Lord. Uh, they, they Facebook friends with their children and the language they use and the pictures they post and the stuff they say just will baffle your brain. Yes. Amen. Yes. My Lord. My Lord. Amen. But he said, even the labor of the hands. Mm -hmm. We're living in a time where the rich getting richer yeah. and the poor are getting poorer. Now, and yet we are turning to everything and everybody but God. Lord. And he's simply saying, consider your ways. Lord. Put God first, yes. and God will put you first. Yes. Honor God, and God will honor you. Yes. Quit trying to make stuff work that God is not in. Yes. But rather get God in you All right. so that he'll make work whatever you want to work. Mm -hmm. Did you hear him say, seek first yes. the kingdom of heaven yes. and all of his righteousness. Yes. And whatever you need will be added to you. Yes. And you don't have to do it because you can seek the other stuff. Yes. And forget about the righteousness of God. But just know that God going to blow on it. And all you'll be is a has-been. Y'all ain't sound right. All you'll be able to talk about is what I used to have. How I used to feel and who I used to be. But if you honor God, God will honor you. God wants somebody who will take a stand. He wants somebody yeah. who will say, for God I live, yeah. and for God I die. I heard him say, these people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. He wants somebody who will get up in the morning and tell him, good morning, God. Who will get up in the morning and tell him, thank you, God. For letting you see another day. Yes, sir. I heard him saying all thy ways. Yes. Uh -huh, acknowledge yes. God. Yes. And he shall direct your path. Yes. So when you get up in the morning, you ought to just ask God. Oh Lord, show me the way that you want me to go. Yes. And the God that I say, the scripture said that if you seek him, yes. Well, he may be found and call upon him while he is there. Even though you did put first things first, he's a forgiving God. Even though your life seemed to be in shambles, I'm just trying to tell you why he is that way. And uh, if you want him to correct it for you, if you want him to to change the pace. You want him uh, to turn things around for you. You ought to say, this is the 